Hi, this video is here to help you with finding missing coordinates. Let's take a look at what we might already know to help us with this. On a coordinate grid, the vertical axis is called the y-axis and the horizontal axis is called the x-axis. To help you remember the difference between the axes, remember this phrase. The x goes across because it is across and the y goes to the sky. When you read coordinates, you use the numbers on the x-axis first, followed by the numbers on the y-axis. For example, this point is located at 6, 7. Look at this set of coordinates. These are the coordinates for three of the vertices of a square. The fourth vertex is missing. If we plot these coordinates and join the points together, you can see two of the sides of the square. What do you think the coordinates are for the point that's missing? One thing we know about squares is that all their sides are of equal length. So if we complete our square by drawing in the remaining lines, it will look like this. Can you see how each of the points forms one of the vertices of the square? Where will the missing point be for the final vertex of the square? The missing point will be here at 8, 7. Now we'll look at shapes with missing coordinates on a grid with four quadrants. Remember, in this type of grid, we have not only the first quadrant, but also the second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. On this four quadrant grid, I have plotted three vertices of a rectangle. What are the coordinates for each point? The coordinate in the first quadrant is 3, 1. The second quadrant of the grid has the coordinate negative 3, 1. The fourth quadrant of the grid has the coordinate 3, negative 2. If we join the points together, you can see two of the sides of the rectangle. What do you think the coordinates are for the point that's missing? If we remember that rectangles have equal opposite sides, we can complete our rectangle by drawing in the remaining lines. Where is the missing point that forms the final vertex of the rectangle? The missing point will be here at negative 3, negative 2. Now it's your turn. Can you find the missing coordinate for this shape? I'm drawing a parallelogram on this coordinate grid. I have drawn three of the points I need. Can you find the missing coordinate for the fourth vertex so I can complete the shape? Top tip. Remember that a parallelogram has opposite sides which are equal and parallel. Pause the video now and have a go. All finished? The answer is 3, negative 1. Well done if you got that right. Now let's look at how we find missing coordinates on a different type of coordinate grid. What do you notice that's the same and what's different about this type of grid and the ones we've already looked at? This coordinates grid doesn't have any grid lines or numbers, although it does still have both an x-axis and a y-axis. We can also see that there is only one quadrant shown. As there are no grid lines or numbers, when we find missing coordinates on a grid like this, we need to have other points labelled on the grid to help us. In this example, we can see that there are two points shown on the grid, a red point and a purple point. The purple point has coordinates of 7, 3. How could we find the coordinates of the red point? Look carefully at the points. What do you notice about their positions on the grid? That's right, if we look along the x-axis, we can see that the points are in line with each other. This means that both points share the same coordinate on the x-axis, as they are the same distance along the x-axis. What's the x-axis coordinate of the purple point? That's right, it's 7, which means our red point will also have an x-axis coordinate of 7. Let's now reveal the position of another label point on the grid. This green point has coordinates of 4, 6. If we look up the y-axis, we can see that the green and red points are now in line with each other on the y-axis. This means that both points share the same coordinate on the y-axis, as they are the same distance up the y-axis. What's the y-axis coordinate of the green point? 
The y-axis coordinate is 6, which means our red point will also have a y-axis coordinate of 6. If the three points that we've plotted make the three vertices of the square, can you work out what the coordinates of the fourth vertex of the square would be? How could we use the information given on the grid to work out the coordinates of the fourth vertex? We can see that the black point is as far along the x-axis as the green point, which means it has an x-axis coordinate of 4. And the black point is as far up the y-axis as the purple point, which means it will share the same y-axis coordinate as the purple point, which is 3. So the coordinates of the fourth vertex of the square are 4, 3. Now let's see if we can work out missing coordinates on an unlabeled four quadrant grid, like this. This grid is similar to the previous grid, but now instead of only one quadrant, we can have coordinates in all four quadrants. If I draw a straight horizontal line between the red point and the black point on the grid, can you work out the missing coordinate for the red point? The black point is further to the right of the x-axis than the red point, so the x-axis coordinates are different. However, both points are the same distance down the y-axis. This means they both share the same y-axis coordinate of negative 6. So the missing coordinate is negative 6. If I draw a straight vertical line between the blue point and the green point on the grid, how can we work out the missing coordinate for the green point? The green point is further up the y-axis than the blue point, so the y-axis coordinates are different. However, both points are the same distance across the x-axis. This means they both share the same x-axis coordinate of negative 10. So the missing coordinate is negative 10. Now it's your turn to have a go. Take a look at this question. Anisha draws a rectangle on this grid. What are the missing coordinates of the purple and green points on the vertices of the shape? Pause the video now and have a go. Well done, let's take a look at the answers. Here are the answers. The purple point is negative 1, 2, and the green point is 13, negative 6. Well done if you got those right. I think that you're ready for a challenge now. This orange point is located exactly halfway along the horizontal line of the rectangle. What are its coordinates? Explain how you worked it out. Pause the video now and have a go. Did you get it right? The coordinates of the orange point are 6, 2. In order to work this out, we can firstly see that the y-axis coordinates of the orange point will be the same as the purple and black points as they are all the same distance up the y-axis. In order to work out the x-axis coordinate of the orange point, we can use the fact that the orange point is exactly halfway along the horizontal line of the rectangle to help us. The orange point is exactly halfway between the purple point and the black point on the x-axis. How can we use this fact to help us work out the x-axis value of the orange point? Well, the purple point is negative 1 along the x-axis and the black point is 13 along the x-axis. We firstly need to find what the difference is between these points on the x-axis. The difference between negative 1 and 13 is 14. If we divide this difference of 14 by 2, we find that it equals 7. So we know that the orange coordinate is 7 more along the x-axis than the purple point and 7 less than the black point on the x-axis. Let's work out how much further the orange point is from the purple point to find our final answer. If we add 7 to the negative 1 x-axis coordinate of the purple point, we will find negative 1 add 7 equals 6. So we have an x-axis coordinate of 6 for the orange point. The coordinate halfway between the purple and black points on the x-axis is 6. Thanks for watching. For more math support, check out our other math concept videos available on the Twinkle website.